In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this awesome net for an even more awesome cause, the James River Basin Partnership. Follow along as I cut, grind, bend, sand, and finish this beautiful one-of-a-kind net for a great cause. Smallmouth bass is actually one of the primary species that you can target in the James River Basin area, which is why I selected the smallmouth bass fry as the centerpiece of this net handle. Sometimes you gotta fail to finally get it right. And in this case, I started with what looked like a golf ball style texturing for the scale details on this fish. I did not like that. So then I sacrificed a wood burning tip and tried to make a scale tip from it. That also failed miserably and I was not liking the result. So I resorted to removing all the scale details and instead painting by hand and airbrush. No bad work. I'm not carving a cheetah here, so I I am not falling for this pattern. Nope. Well, it looks like fishing met a violent end, but actually what's about to happen is sanding sealer. And sanding sealer for something of this size is thin star bomb. I think the end result for such a small fish is perfect. So we kept moving. I hand drew this template from a beautiful piece of figured maple stock. Now this tiger maple is something else and I have a unique idea, which is to run an oxbow river right through the middle of it. One that represents the James River watershed itself. For cutting out such fine curves, it's onto the scroll saw. And my scroll saw technique's probably not the best, but it did get the job done. And all I really needed to do with the scroll saw was remove the oxbow design and create a river channel, which I think I did. Then I got to making a form. Total Boat generously gave me some epoxy for some of my projects here in the shop and I have been stoked on the result. What you see here is actually the black diamond pigment, the green that I used as the base and I slowly worked in less and less pigment until a clear top coat was the last one. Each pour is approximately a quarter of an inch deep and so I did the base one first, came back, filled in with another one with the carving in place and went from there until I topped it off. Now the end result is a lot of depth and it's crystal clear. I love it. With the resin looking really good and hardened, it's time to square up the block and then cut out my pattern. While I'm working on this, here's some information about the James River Watershed Partnership. The James River Basin Partnership is a nonprofit organization and they focus on proving and protecting the water for the springs, streams, lakes, and rivers. Now that's almost a million acres. All of this really began in the 1990s when they had a massive blue-green algae bloom on Table Rock Lake. That spurred them into action, and in 1997 they kicked off the James River Basin Partnership. The area covers 300 plus river miles and 563 springs with primary species being smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, spotted bass, you name it, they got it. A large portion of the water in this area actually helps supply the Springfield, Missouri area as well for their drinking water. Now it got into the really, really tricky part of the build. And that was actually bending the maple net hoop pieces. Now. That usually isn't a struggle, but in this case, it sure was. I have no idea why. It took me my fourth attempt to finally get this right. That sucks. These pieces on the one point I didn't want them to break, they broke because there's a little check in the grain and it's highly figured grain. So they're very, very pretty, but weak. It's like $200 worth of figured material. Ugh. 
So after the first trial run of bending this hoop that did not go well because it had a crack in the grain and then a snap, it is now time for round two. This material is generously provided by Shiraz Bololia, the owner of Grizzly Industrial Inc. And uh, I'll link to Grizzly in the description because it's a huge hookup of this figured maple material for the new hoop. Shiraz is great when I told him about the project and the conservation efforts by the James River Partnership and the fact that Grizzly has a large warehouse and showroom in Springfield, which is part of that watershed, he was all stoked to provide this material. So it is time to cut it down and get it ready and prepped for steam. Are you, are you going to cut it down on me? Well, you're my helper. Little crack turned into a big crack and a huge problem. So that one's out. Now we're on to the third try. This is my astonished face because I have broken three net hoops and I've never broken one completely through ever before. So this is like driving me insane. And now I'm on to my final attempt here at this maple and you'll notice some purple heart it's going into my old steam box over here. And I'm going to just steam it like I normally would. And we're just going to do this. I hope it works. I'm I'm at wit's end on this. I need this to work. I have to get this off to them so they can make it a success at the auction. So life can continue to happen. Let's bend it and not break it this time. Ever wonder what stress looks like manifested in wood form? Take a look at this thing. Like a porcupine, but we got it done. The cracks, not there. Fourth time's a charm. Thank you. I, I literally have one shot. I mean, this handle is one of a kind, so you have one shot at it, and I think we got it. So we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna do some stuff and sand it up. This net is coming together beautifully. It's taken a lot of work to get to this point, but things are looking up. So where am I now? I am in the process of sanding, rounding over all the edges, and things are looking really good. So now it's time to go through the grits and work my way up. And you might be asking, like, why don't you use a round over bit for something like the hoop? And, and that's totally acceptable in most cases. In this one, I have a lot of work into this and I'm taking forever to get to this point. So I'm actually opting to do it by hand, just kind of ease that edge in for a nice feel. Uh, but yeah, you could totally do a router bit. That said, I have everything looking great. And now it is time to finish sand and also put in my little brass insert at the end. This is the moment I've been waiting for, for a long time. The initial coat of finish and like six more to go. The final little bit is putting in the net basket. Hang the basket in place with the clamps, put my waterproof thread and needle to work, and 
we have a basket in place. The whole project is just stunning. This is a, I, a one of a kind piece that I am so proud to be part of. If you're looking to support a great cause for conservation, look no further than the James River Basin Partnership. And you can also put in a bid on this beautiful net in their auction here in 2021. And you can also donate on their website. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it and it helps me get out in the shop more.